motivation that comes from outside sources are very short term. Think about it this way. Motivation that you find within yourself to do something is long term because you want to do it or you don't want to suffer the consequences of not doing it. Perfect. seat's wet. One of the most common questions that I get has to do with motivation and it's kind of hard to answer because I'm not you. See, motivation comes in different ways, in, in a lot of different ways actually. It can come from inside you, it can come from, from fears, from drives, from happiness. It can come from so many different things and then also motivation can be external where it comes from other sources like, like this video. Like it can come from sources like your grandmother saying that she was never happy her whole life and that she wished she would have just talked to the boy or whatever. So let's kind of get like a rough idea. And maybe this will just turn into a rant video, which I would understand if it did knowing myself. But my goal is that one person can take away something from this. It could be the smallest thing, but if it helps someone understand themselves a little bit better, and understand what drives them, why they're not working out, why they're not doing their homework, why they're not doing this, that, the other thing. That's good enough for me. So question number one, how do I keep myself motivated is usually it. People can find themselves to be motivated from time to time, but very rarely do people think, oh, like I'm definitely motivated 100% of the time. And I think the best way to understand how to keep yourself motivated is to understand that nobody's always motivated. There are some people who are more motivated more often. Of course, high level athletes have to be in the game all the time. I'm actually fairly certain The Rock is never even sleepy. But for the most part, all humans have motivation at times and they also don't have it. So the question of keeping yourself motivated usually doesn't have to do with why am I not always motivated? It has to do with why do I not understand that it's normal? You know, there's plenty of times where people are motivated. Now, when you're not motivated a lot, like when you find yourself not wanting to do anything for a lot of the time, I think that's when you have to start being honest with yourself and maybe you need to start talking to someone. Because if you're never motivated to do anything, that's kind of an issue. But that's not my place to do it. Maybe you should talk to somebody a little more professional. Now, if you're a teenager, like this makes sense that you're not motivated to do things. When I was a teenager, I really wanted to play football. I was motivated to do that and I would do like workouts, but it was a lot of them were because I had to. I was on the team, you know, you can't miss a workout. And I almost, I'm not gonna say I never did homework, but I never wanted to do homework, ever. There was never a time where I was like, I'm super excited for this assignment, never. But I still did them. And I didn't need the motivation. Like actually I kind of did have a little bit of motivation. It was fear, you know, it was, Oh, if I don't do these assignments and I fail, am I going to be able to go to college? Am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to disappoint my family? Motivation by fear is just as important as motivation by everything else. A lot of people think of fear as a bad thing, but without fear, there's no courage. You know, I, I teach my kids that courage is doing something even though you're afraid to do it. So if you didn't have the fear, you couldn't be courageous because if everything's easy, then what, why is it worth it? I can feel it. It's definitely starting to get in a little rant. It's getting a little ranty. I should have maybe had a piece of paper, but it, it just would have gotten wet. So let's go back to figuring out what it is for you. Let's just use the example of working out. Working out or training, right? If you tell me that you have a hard time training because you lack motivation, that means that you probably just, you don't have one of those internal things. If you only work out when you've seen a super sick hype up music video, like it's, it's not motivation that's gonna last. Motivation that comes from outside sources are very short term. Think about it this way. Motivation that you find within yourself to do something is long term because you want to do it or you don't want to suffer the consequences of not doing it. For me, I like to make as many videos as I can because I never know which one of them is gonna be the one that really resonates with people or that 
really like pops off and like helps me grow and reach more people. You know, you never know which one it's gonna be. You never know which workout is gonna be the one that something just clicks in your head and everything changes after that. You just don't know. You could use that to drive you to keep doing every extra rep because you never know which rep is gonna be the one that changes everything. And while that can be a little detrimental to mindset to think, okay, I'm gonna just do one and then one of these is eventually gonna make it worth it for me. That's not necessarily true either though. And I know that's what I just said, but in all actuality, each singular one that you did adds up and accumulates to become something that actually does change you for the better. Going through those, Jesus. I almost got eaten by a bird. Um, Dude, I'm telling you, these birds are after me. Going through these repetitions are what change you as a person. Going through repetitive sequences and making things harder on yourself, pushing yourself more, are gonna be what makes it better for you. And that gives you motivation in a way because you realize that everything you did before seems easier now because you're better now. And imagine the day where what you're doing right now seems easy to you. There's always gonna be that. If you keep pushing yourself, what you're doing right now is going to be easy. It's gonna be easy. So if you train for recreation, it is easy to get motivation from having fun, enjoying yourself. If you train recreationally, you don't have an aspiration to go professional in some aspect, then if you're not having fun, you're not gonna to wanna to do it because that's the main reason you're doing it, right? To enjoy yourself, to have fun. If you're trying to become a professional, and you don't have an aspiration to be the best or to get better every day, then you're probably not gonna have motivation to do it because that large, that big pot, think about it this way. If you have a huge bank of money that you can always pull a dollar out of every day, that's like your main source of motivation. It could be fun. It could be wanting to be the best, wanting to leave a legacy, wanting to make your parents, your wife, your kids, whatever it is, proud, right? that internal stuff is gonna be that big source. Now, there will always be times where it's really, really more difficult than others and you need like a loan. You just need something that you can grab. You need like a five hour interview, whatever it is. That motivation that's external that you're getting from outside of your like big bank of motivation, you don't want to always be relying on that. But it's necessary from time to time. There's been plenty of times where I was like, dude, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't wanna teach these kids. They've been picking on me all week. I almost cried yesterday. I'm done. I don't want to teach these kids today. And then sometimes you just kind of have to find something else to help you get motivated. But now if I found something else every single day, then it's not about the kids anymore. It's not about helping the kids grow confidence, athletic ability, whatever it is. It's not about that anymore. Picking from that external motivation all the time, the loans, right? then I have a foggy sense of what I'm doing it for. If you're always looking to E.T. the hip hop preacher, love E.T., Gary V., uh, what's the other, there's, there's other guys. If you're always looking to them for your motivation, then you're not doing it for you, you're doing it because someone convinced you to. Do it because you convince yourself, because it's fun, because you're afraid of what might happen if you don't, wanting to conquer your fears, whatever it is. Do it for you, find that, for yourself. Let other people help you along the way with motivation. Let other things help you along the way with motivation. But whatever your motivation is, it has to be because you want to. If you find yourself still lacking, it's because you're probably doing something you don't wanna do. Obviously still do your homework, but find what makes you happy. And most likely you'll find the motivation to do it later. That's video. This one was slower. It was in the rain. It was but hopefully it was enlightening to somebody. This is a talk that I've had with myself over the years. So I figured it'd be one I could have with you guys too. If you like the video, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notifications. I'm not gonna kick you. I want you to want to subscribe today. Have a good day.